This right here is the Scala 2 pump from Grundfos, which is a very high functioning pump that delivers perfect pressure to your home from city mains, wells, and tanks. And as you can probably see here, it has a lot of buttons on it and indicator lights right down here that could look pretty confusing if you had this pump already. But I'm gonna break down what all those mean in this video, and they're all very necessary because it's a very high functioning pump. So they all make it work. So you probably already know that there's uh, times in your home where the pressure isn't perfect and this can be due to a couple of reasons one is that maybe the city's water is just at a low point because a lot of people are using it in the area but it's more often due to your home using multiple faucets at the same time maybe people are using the washing machine people are showering and people are just doing a bunch of things maybe washing dishes where it lowers your water's pressure so this will equalize all of that and i'll explain that all to you in the video so the way this works is that integrated sensors measure the water pressure delivered by the pump to your tap. The sensor then sends a signal to the pump control which compares the pressure you're getting to the pressure that you set. The pump control then signals the frequency converter to reach your desired pressure. So this pump has a feature called dry running protection which just means that it automatically turns off if there's no water detected in the system. And the pump actually will restart itself periodically to see if the water returned to the system. And if it hasn't, it'll just stay off. But it does do automatic checks. And if there is water detected in the system, it'll start running again. So this just protects your pump from burning out if there's no water in the system. Another great thing about this is that it operates quietly. And it's said to, when it's operating fully, uh, have about 45 decibels of sound, which is no louder than your computer if it's running at uh, full operation. The Scala 2 is suitable for houses with up to three floors and eight tapping points. Accurate sizing of the pump can be based on the pump curve you see here, as well as local norms and standards. But make sure you take a look at the technical data if that's something you're interested in. So you're going to set your pressure with the pressure setting arrows right here, and then check the furthest tap point to see if it reaches your desired pressure. And if it does, all your outlets should be good since you're testing the outlet furthest from your pump. And if the furthest outlet is a shower, then that's better because it produces a lot of water. Here's a further breakdown of the function of each button on the pump. So you can pause the screen right now and take a look at this if you're wondering what they all mean. There's also this right here, which is called the Grunfos Eye. And this has a bunch of different light indications to show you how your pump is running. And I'm going to show you a chart in a second that tells you what all of that means. So as you can see by this chart, the different indications mean that the power is off sometimes. Sometimes it means the power will be on. Sometimes it'll show you that the pump is not running at all and there's a problem with it. So just pause the screen right now and study this chart if you're interested. So one thing I wanted to add before we finish is that this can be installed indoors or outdoors, but it should not be exposed to frost, which is important. And the manufacturer also recommends that this should be installed near a drain or in a drip tray connected to a drain to lead away possible condensation from cold surfaces. So that's about all you need to know. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section because a lot of uh, HVAC installers often comment down there and maybe they'll be able to help you out. If you have any experience with this, I'd love to hear about it. So comment below, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel.